the Educational Commission for Foreigners Medical Graduates, aka ECFNG, is an organization that plays a crucial role in facilitating the entry of international medical graduates into the United States healthcare system and ensures we meet the necessary standards for medical practice in the U.S. In the past, to register for your USMLE examination and more, your medical school was required to be listed in the ward the director of medical school. However, ECFNG announced a couple of years ago that the system will change to the recognized accreditation policy. Recognized accreditation means that the accrediting agency of a medical school has itself been reviewed and acknowledged by an external quality insurance organization. At the current time, accrediting agencies recognized by either the World Federation for Medical Education or National Committee of, on Foreign Medical Education and Accreditation fulfill the requirements of the recognized accreditation policy. They have changed the day of implementation for these changes due to different reasons, but the time has come. The initial implementation of the recognized accreditation policies will begin in 2024. So I recently emailed them to ask more details, and that's what they said. Please note that when you are registered for a USMLE examination before 2024 or in 2024, you can still continue with the examination and ECFNG certification process, provided you meet current eligibility requirements, which require the medical school to be listed in the ward director of medical school with an ECFNG sponsor note confirming their eligibility. Note that the degree year of applicants must be in the ward director of medical school listed as occurring under the sponsor notes of the list of medical school, which is mean it's going to be a transition process. The system that we know already is going to be there at least during 2024. And if your school is not accredited yet, you can find your school in the dictionary and the process can go through at least during this transition period. From 2024, if an applicant's school does not meet the recognized accreditation policy, that information will be available in the ward director of medical school on their sponsor notes. The status is expected to be equally reported in the status reports provided to the Electronic Resident Application Service for individuals seeking to obtain U.S. graduate medical education position in the 2025 main resident match. We are unable to determine what resident program directors will consider in ranking their applicant and offering interviews which is mean, uh, let's say, if your school is not accredited yet, as I said before previously, the only system that we have was the ward director of medical school. So here, if your school is not accredited, it's gonna be a note or it's gonna be a comment that will say your school is not accredited. So it's not just, during your application for USMLE, also when you apply for your medical resident, the different programs and the different hospital, hospitals and all that matter can see in the system that your school is not accredited. So based on that, a lot of people have a lot of questions related like, oh, what is gonna happen? So I can apply, I can do the entire process, but, um, they can see that my school is not recognized. That is going to affect me in a negative way during my application. For that reason, I'm not going to get interviewed. For that reason, what is going to happen? So what they say in the email, they don't know. So that's a still, they are still like addressing this part and working on it, is what they said in the email. So we don't know yet. So it's what they said, it's not up to them. You can apply 
uh, for your uh, match application, all the process. However, it's gonna be up to the place that you apply, aka it's gonna be up to the hospitals where you apply if they're gonna if they're gonna take in, if they're gonna take you even if your school is not accredited. So that's why they cannot say this and that because it's gonna be relayed on the hospital that you apply. That's if they decide to take it or not. Um, if your school is not accredited, because they can see that your school is not accredited, it's going to be based on the org criteria, what they're going to do with your application, if they take it or not, is what they say. Moreover, when recognized accreditation policy implemented initially in 2024, that is not going to be a problem for your ESFNG certification application. You can still apply for your, for your ESFNG certification including the USMLE examination, registration, and setting. I mean, if your school is not registered yet or it's not accredited yet, you can still apply for your USMLE and also for your ESFNG certification. However, the recognized accreditation policy and its implementation will continue to evolve and future changes to the policy will be communicated by advance. You might follow um, the official website, and the official website, they have Twitter. I mean, the official website of the ECFNG, you have to follow the ECFNG official website. They have Twitter, they have all the social media, to be honest. So you have to follow them, and also they have something called like, um, they say you, you can subscribe to the, how that's called, it's not, um, Email, email list, you can subscribe to their email list and they send you like emails when, major, when something major happen and they send you an email and also in a social media and also day to day their website. So what they mean in that part and this part is, okay, this is what we have already However, it doesn't mean that things is going to change in the future. So be aware and watch out for any modification of any of the aspect of these new changes. Because we are in the middle of a transition. So you got to watch out and pay attention to any change. So check it out, our official website, our social media, and yada, yada. I think, I think it's what they mean in this part. Please note that the website of the World Federation of Medical School and the National Committee on Foreign Medical Education websites can be visited to find the current list of recognized agency that medical school should be accredited by to meet the recognized accreditation policy. So what they mean is like, I'm gonna leave you the link all about all this information, I mean the official website, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the link in the description box, in the description box of the ECFNG official website and all these institutions that I just mentioned uh, here. And you can check her out if your school is already accredited and you can check it out over there. So as I said, um, I send this email and they send me this information. So we are in the middle of a transition, so a lot of change can happen. And that's why, you know, I, I highly recommend you to follow them in the different social media and also in the email list, because they send a bunch of important information through your email, I mean, through your email. So I think that's it for this video. I have different social media, I have Instagram, I have Twitter, I have TikTok, I have Instagram, and try to be more active on Instagram. Follow me here for more information, and see you next video. Bye.